Hi guys. So I don't know if you like that intro. It's a little long, I think, but I'm going to be experimenting with intros to see what works and what you guys like. I was just going to try to make an intro, you know, I've just started making videos. So I'm trying to figure out what to put at the beginning. So if you guys liked it, please let me know. If you didn't like it, don't let me know. Just kidding. Let me know. Um, anyway, so we're talking about today, we're talking about a few different things in relation to SP and it's going to be more like a rant video because I think you all know what you like to do by this point. Like I feel like you know about affirming or whatever technique you like. So this is more going to be like to clear up any of the nuances that are still kind of lingering. And I had a question like a few videos back that I'm going to address and things like that. Okay. So I'm going to try to make this relatively fast but if you guys thought if any of you had doubt about how thoughts create I want to show you something so I was literally ooh, as I was thinking or like thinking about this video and filming it I thought about how rare each of you are and how there's nothing more rare in the whole world than you because what's more rare than being only one you know there's only one of you so if you can remember that it'll help you a lot with you know either recreating an sp or um or creating a new sp and what i wanted to say too about that is no matter what if you're recreating someone you already know or sorry someone that's already in your life versus someone who's new you still have an old story. You you still have an old story about relationships in general, right? So if you're creating someone that's an that's a person you've had experience with already, you have an old story about them, and you have an old story about relationships. If you're creating a new person, you still have an old story about relationships in general because we've been doing this. We've been living on the planet for however many years, twenty years creating relationships, thirty years creating relationships, fifty years creating relationships, right? So you all the time have to address the old story of what you think a relationship is like in general right so that's the first point and then i'm trying to get this thing the dog's on my lap but oh okay if you guys had any doubt that thoughts create this is what i was thinking about today and this came on my food this is like a whole foods thing look at that two of five that means i got five bags and this is the second one but this they pick a word every time to be on the bags and they can literally pick any word like my other bag i was going to show you a different bag had the word hence on it right so it can literally be any word in the entire entire english language and they picked rare for my groceries earlier this morning and it, it looks all wrecked because I've, I've like had it here and i spilled water on it and stuff so but look, it's like literally what I was thinking about making a video about. So if you had any doubt whatsoever that your thoughts create pretty much immediately, <laughs> then there you go. So anyway, we're going to get started on this. You guys, um, I talked about being rare. You're individuals. You also have individual desires in this lifetime, right? That you that are unique to you, that are special to you. So you've got to remember that as well. Like your desires are meant to for you and they are unique to you like no one else has the same desires as you so it's um it's just like a blessing to have these unique desires that are meant for you so it's like literally the only thing you have to do is step into it right and that's kind of like what i'm preaching teaching on here so basically um i wanted to say also you guys have been masters at this like this is not a new thing for you and i just want to remind you of that so that this whole process can become easier for you because you literally have been doing this your whole life your thoughts have been creating your entire world all your interactions every which way people show up for you how you see yourself how you perceive yourself in the world what is reflected back to you your entire world has been created by your thoughts now when you're a kid you know, you're not supposed to take responsibility for that because those were just, that was like your beginning years from zero, zero to seven. I already like kind of, I actually said one to seven in the other video, but it's actually zero to seven. You're just receiving, receiving, receiving and building beliefs. Okay. But after that, that is when you can take responsibility for it and you can change it right after that, after you've got these beliefs, ideas, limitations imprinted then you can start to change it you can start to shift from then on right because you are in charge then like you take the reins you realize 
you have the power to change it. Now, obviously you're not going to realize the power when you're 10 years old or some, most of us didn't, right? But like at any point, whichever point in your life you're at now, then you can take the reins and be responsible for all these beliefs and thoughts that you've been thinking, right? So the idea is you've been doing this your whole life. Don't get thrown off now just because you know what to do, right? Just because you know how to create now, don't get thrown off because you've literally been doing this forever like you've been doing it your whole life so you know how to do this this is really really um ingrained in you the way this works the way your thoughts just produce 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 you're always thinking you're always producing whatever's whatever's in your mind whatever you're thinking so don't get thrown off now just because you know and you're trying to be deliberate about it right and this channel is about being deliberate and I also want to just relax you guys and release, help you release your limitations. Okay, so let's start in. The first point about, and this is kind of like a ranty video. I'm not going to be too structured, but I just wanted to like get these things out there that I feel like are missing pieces for you guys for, for creating your best relationships. Okay, so the first point is indifference is your best friend. I was just thinking about the quote from Neville uh, and I, when I quote Neville, I don't do exact because they're, it's all from memory basically, but he said something like this. He said, things wither and die with indifference, right? And for the most part with our SP situation, we, we need things to wither and die, right? Whether there's an SP, whether there's a th third party, whether there's old thoughts about him being a jerk or a really you're disrespectful or there's old thoughts of him neglecting you or not being there for you or and I'm talking with my perspective right so I'm saying him but if you're a guy just say her her not being there for you her not calling you her cheating on you whatever happened in the past we're we indifference is our best friend when we're trying to create a, a, a new situation with our third with our SPs right and I've done this so many times and I started this journey like with using law of assumption approximately 10 years ago okay so before that all I had was law of attraction which wasn't the greatest right I could not figure out how to recreate my relationships just with law of attraction I really actually figured out the core beliefs that I was dealing with that were creating these terrible patterns in my life with relationships only when I found law of assumption okay so it was like I actually I'm not bashing law of attraction, right? I think there's there's value in it. If you like law of attraction, that's fine. But for me, the big changes happened when I started adopting the principles of law of assumption. So that's why I kind of like, I don't push against anything though, because it's an inclusive universe. Like the world is an inclusive place, right? So if you're saying no to something, you're going to have more of it. And that's kind of what I'm talking about with indifference if you push against something like if you're saying oh I hate I really hate that third party I really hate that he's being rude he's being so rude right now you're gonna have more of it because you're hating it you're, you're adding emotion to it anytime you add emotion to something you're gonna get more of it it's just the way it is you're adding emphasis to it you're adding um um anytime you're adding emotion to anything that's why um, Neville talks about the um, the desire exploding within you, right? That's adding emotion to something where the desire gets so heightened and he, he uses this method of breathing to add emotion to things so that things explode within you and then are sure to come to pass because you have added emotion to it. So it's the exact same thing with the opposite thing. So when you're recreating your SP, you need to not be adding emotion to these things and discussing these things you you are against right you can't be against anything and that's where the idea of indifference comes in you need to be neutral to it not care and the way you not care about like you know instead of talking about the third party and hating her and being pissed off about his rudeness or pissed off that he isn't calling you whatever the way you don't care is you know those are old thoughts you know all that is all created by your old thinking so then you can ditch the emotion around it you can ditch the like intensity of feeling you can just be neutral to it and that's what Neville is talking about he also mentions in that same um in the same paragraph that I'm remembering in one of his books he also says your attention keeps them alive right so it's 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 he's talking about indifference makes things die off 
attention keeps things alive okay so it's literally if you give things attention especially with added emotion you're going to keep it alive and that's what you need to remember when you're recreating your sp it's so important that's i don't hear people talking about this but it's so important okay the other thing i wanted to say so Again, with that one, just look at all the things you're thinking about, about them and anything you need to be indifferent about, start just realizing you created it and start being indifferent to it so that it can wither and die, wither and die. All these things, especially when you have old stories with people, mostly what you need is indifference because you need things to wither and die to create, to have the best relationship with them, right? To have this most amazing thing that you want, okay? Second point is you can't mess this up. You can only slow it down, okay? You can only slow it down. If you go back to the old story, don't worry about it. Like I was talking about my states video, if you decide on a new state by going back, all you need to do is redecide on the new decision again, right? You can't, you can't mess it up. You're not gonna, if you react to the 3D, if he says something rude and you react, who cares? Get back on your new, new thing in the next minute. Every minute is a new choice, right? Or even less than that. Every second is a new new moment to choose so you just don't worry about anything that you do you can just ignore whatever you did before just forget about it literally choose new in each moment and you can create like fast by doing that right you don't want to get stuck and regret the old right because that, that'll keep you stuck in the old moment you got to choose in the new moment so know that you can't mess this up okay i just want to relax you in this creation because people get this is a really sticking uh, like a manifestation that people get stuck on a lot, right? Recreating someone. So, um, well, another point is if you believe your affirmations, great. If not, just keep going. It will turn into assumption, an assumption eventually, right? You don't even have to, you don't have to trust it. You can just literally keep on trucking. Don't worry about it. It'll turn into, even if you don't feel it, you, you will get evidence in the 3D before you even know it's a belief, right? Because you, you aren't going to believe stuff all the time like that's not necessary right so just keep going keep pressing on and eventually you will see a lot of times you actually see evidence before you actually feel like you believe something so don't worry don't worry is the key that that's the point and then i had a question i wanted to address it came up in one of the videos how to keep interacting with the old them how to keep interacting with the old them when you are trying to change them I'm sorry mix it take care of <laughs> um how do I keep interacting with the old them when when you want to just be in the new reality and they keep triggering you, right? You literally, you can do anything you want in that case. What I would do with my SP situation when I was recreating him and he was being rude and things like that, I would just do whatever you need to do to stand up for yourself, but don't get stuck in a conversation if you can avoid it. Again, each new moment is a new choice. So if you do get stuck in a conversation you don't like or you are mad about and pissed off that you even got stuck for that amount of time doing that just let it go quickly and easily and choose new because each new moment if you waste time regretting it then you're still stuck in the old moment right you just choose again and it's not a problem so what i would say to her is yeah do whatever you can to stick up for yourself if you need to say no if you need to ignore them that's fine too if they're being rude over text you can just not text them back that's what i recommend because it keeps you kind of neutral again indifference is your best friend okay um and then i think that's it i just wanted to give you kind of like a ranty pep talk and just know um this is happening on a parallel plane already you're already in the best relationship ever it's just about lining up with that with your thoughts okay so it's a simple 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 thing if you ever go back don't even worry about it if you ever make the wrong decision and talk to them and get in a fight you can always redecide in the very next moment okay so there should be no stress about this whatsoever the other thing is i want to say a quick note on confidence the thing the thing you think they most don't like um yeah so i had a thing about flipping the script okay so i had a i have a quick little story and then i'll be done okay so i want to tell you this so my friend has she has a really big nose okay and she was like we were going out one night and it's one of her biggest insecurities, right? Or used to be one of her biggest insecurities. And I would always say like, no, guys like big noses. I would always tell her that. So we were both getting ready one day and I actually have kind of a big nose. I don't know if you guys can tell from the side, you can tell from the front, uh, not as much, but 
Anyway, so I was like, no, guys like big noses. You don't understand. Like this whole little nose and getting all, everybody having these cookie cutter noses that they're getting done, you know, with <laughs> plastic surgery. I'm like, it's not the thing, right? I was just trying to boost her confidence. I didn't actually think that I definitely believe that. I was just trying to make her feel better. So we go out. I'm not kidding. This happened and it's kind of like a, a good way of saying, a good way of making making the point that you really need to turn your insecurities if you can right through doing self-concept work if especially if relationships are a hard a hard point for you con self-concept work about relationships is a really good thing just generally right like i'm loved i'm wanted everybody adores me they can't get enough of me my sp always wants to talk to me he has such a better time when he's talking to me like really boost your self-concept in relationships in general right that can help make everything easier and you've heard me say that in pretty much every video but so i was boosting her the concept of herself this was like six years ago so i was just you know still kind of newly doing this but also like you know using it on my friends and seeing how like things would shift and things in my world and so it was it was a fun thing I did and that night I was like telling her no guys like big noses and I didn't even know that I believed it because I was like I don't know if that's true right but I was just kept saying it. she's like yeah and she kind of like gotten in the vibe of that she's thinking like yeah okay yeah maybe they do like yeah like I, I'm unique I've got this different thing like I'm not gonna be a cookie cutter I don't have a nose like everybody else my nose is different you know and she was like actually started to sort of believe it too maybe even more than I did so anyway it's just a quick little note story because we went out and um we actually went to this one bar and I we met up with some friends and I've never seen I've never heard him I swear to you I've never heard him talk about noses ever in his whole life like we've been friends for like 10 years so we, we met up with my friends and he literally turns to us in the middle of the night. I don't know. It was like two, two hours in or something. And he goes, you know what? I just want to tell you guys, I love girls with big noses. <laughs> he literally looked at both of us and said that, like affirming, like you guys both have like kind of big noses. I think he was more talking to her, right? But he was literally, and I think he kind of liked her too, but he was like, I really like girls with big noses. And it's so weird. I've never heard anyone else say that. I've never heard it said any other time, but it was like literally confirmation and um, confirmation of what I was trying to convince her of, right? So I thought that was funny. And it's just, uh, literally, I want to, I want to just leave you with this. Start thinking about your, um, your, things that you might be uncomfortable with like let's say you stutter or you clumsy or you have little things that you feel like are your your points of of um of like a a, a stuck point for you where you feel like you're not confident right because of this thing right like my friend she was not confident because of her nose right and and she she would harp on it and she was stuck in her head as a bad thing and once she flipped it around and even just the inkling of flipping it she didn't fully believe but she kind of got on the train because I kept I kept pushing it with her like saying no 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 but guys don't like this like cookie cutter nose that everyone's getting you know they like the different things like it's good to be unique like so whatever that is for you your unique thing maybe you have an insecurity about how you're always late or but you can make just turn it around and make them love that about you okay and it'll really really start to change the dynamic and like just just think about what that is for you and start to change the dynamic but i hope this helped um if you loved it please thumbs me up and if you like the beginning let me know i think it might be a little too long so i'm going to cut it down i'm going to put some like words at the end too but um yeah and if you like law of assumption and changing your life and transformation neville stick around i'd love to have you guys bye guys